All right, today we're going to take a quick look at this new clamp meter that I got. Uh, this is probably about the cheapest clamp meter you can get, I think. I paid $14 for this, and I, I've seen it even less than that. I've seen it for $12. So it's, you know, it's from China, of course. Uh, this does AC-DC voltage. It does not do DC current. Uh, they have a model that does DC current, but it's like twice the price. It's like 30 bucks. So yeah, it has a temperature probe and non-contact voltage. So, it's pretty much everything it comes with. I've already taken everything out of the box. Uh, you do get an instruction sheet. It's If you don't know how to use it, it's not too detailed on how to use it. Because I don't know how to use it myself. Uh, it comes in about ten different languages. This is the whole English section here of the instructions. Uh... Yeah, it's not too detailed on how to actually use it, but it gives all the specs and everything and the stuff like that. So you're still going to have to figure out how to use this yourself. Yeah, I'm really an amateur at this, so I'm, I'm you know, I'd like to be able to do more testing on things instead of just, you know, swapping parts around. Uh, here's your temperature probe. Uh, this is the meter. Uh, the build quality is actually it, it, not bad on this. I mean, it, it doesn't look or feel cheap. Uh, it takes two AAA batteries. Jaw is very strong feeling. It's not wobbly or anything. So the build quality is pretty good on it. It's not bad. Um... Yeah, I wouldn't compare this to like a fluke meter or something. Uh, the wires are decent thickness on this. They're not, you know, thin, cheap wires. They're, they're pretty decent. Uh, it does come with uh, protectors on here, which is nice. Uh, that's about it. So I'm, I'm going to test a few things. I can't test all the functions on this, but I'm going to test as many as I can and we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, let's just take a look at some of the features briefly on here. Uh, let's turn it on. So it has a flashlight. Well, they call it a flashlight. It's just a little light here at the top. Not really bright enough to be a flashlight, but it's better than nothing. Uh, then we've got, you got your amp settings up here for the clamp meter. You got your temperature setting. Hertz. Uh, this right here is for your four testing functions. Uh, this would be continuity right here. This light lights up. Uh, what else? Uh, then you scroll through this section with this FUN button. That would be diode. I don't have any diodes here to test. Uh, this would be resistance. That would be capacitance. And we, it also has a backlit screen, which you turn on by holding down this third button. You turn it, hold it down again to turn it off. So, uh, let's try to test something here. Let's see where I am here. Alright, that should be capacitance. Now I have a capacitor. This is a 4515. So let's try to test this. Uh, 
15 right on the money we'll test the compressor Forty five point one. That's almost right on the money, so that's that's pretty good. Uh, I got some what are these resistors here? They're brand new, so I know what the values are. This is a forty seven. So let's put it on resistance. I don't really know what I'm doing here, so <laughs> try to bear with me. Forty-six point eight, so that's pretty close. It's, it's a forty-seven. Uh, this one is a twenty-two. Twenty-two, right on the money. So it, the only thing I have to compare this with is this Craftsman multimeter. So I can I can test the resistors with this to see how close it is I don't really need to because that was that was <laughs> the other one was pretty accurate this is showing 43 4 43 1 43 I don't know what's up with that No, it's 43.3. Hmm. That's on the 47. Let's try that again. You have 42.9. It's about 43. Let's try the 22. This is showing 20.3. So, I don't know. This one's at least more than 10 years old, this one. So, it might be out of calibration. Who knows? Uh, so, all right. I'm going to test a few other things. We'll come back. i got to set it up. All right. Now, we're going to try out this uh, clamp function here. Uh, you need a single wire to test this on, and I don't have... If I had an air conditioner opened up, I could test a single wire in that, but I, you know, I don't have anything else to test. So this is just a cheap extension cord, which I split apart. Uh, I've got a hair dryer here I'm going to turn on. I'm going to put it on 40. This is a 1,200-watt hair dryer. Not much other info on there. So, we're on 40 amp. So that was high. That's low. So, there you go. I don't know how accurate that is. You know, I have nothing to compare this to, but it does seem to work. All right, now I've got it. We're going to try out this non-contact voltage. I believe you have that probe plugged into it for it to work, because I tried it without the probe, and it doesn't seem to work very well. So, you got this air conditioner running. Seems to be picking up the air conditioner. Here's the plug.
So it seems to work. All right, now I got the temperature probe hooked up here. I got it set on temperature. I got an air conditioner on behind me, so there's kind of some heat blowing on me. Uh, my phone's saying it's 79 degrees here. When I had to sit down to the side, it stayed around uh, 80, 82 or so. So it seems to be pretty close to what the actual outside temperature is. Here's the probe. This is basically just a thin piece of wire with some sheathing over it, like fabric sheathing. Uh, it looks pretty basic to me. It's just a thin wire. Um, you can see the temperature moves pretty quick when I put my hand over it. All right, so I got an air conditioner going behind me, and we're going to uh, test the, the uh, temperature on that. So we'll come back. All right, I'm, I'm going to plug it into this portable air conditioner. I still got this. This is the only air conditioner I got ready to go here. We're just going to put it in here. That should be pretty good. Fifty-four degrees. That that was really fast. <laughs> and it's it's holding steady there. It seems pretty good to me. Take my finger off it. Yeah, the temperature seems to react very quickly. Stick it in again. Fifty five. back to 54 55 so I got to say I think it works pretty good I think the temperature works good um, everything seems to work good on this Let's shut that off so I got to say if you're a beginner you're an amateur you just you just want something for around the house it, I don't think you can beat this for the money. It's for fourteen dollars. It's pretty useful, useful tool. Of course, if you're a professional, you're an electrician or something, this probably isn't going to cut it for you. But it does seem to be fairly accurate. It was definitely accurate on the capacitance and the resistance testing. I, you know, I don't know about the other tests I did, but. Seems to be pretty accurate, so um, not a bad little device for the money. So I will see you next time.